Ah, studying in Japan is so hard to do. It's impossible. No, it's not. And I'm going to tell you why. So I can only give you my experience in studying abroad at Shimane University here in Matsue, Shimane, Japan. The process, of course, as with any university in Japan, is quite tedious. There is going to be a lot of paperwork, you're going to have to sign a lot of stuff, you're going to have to prove that you have enough money to survive in Japan for a long period of time. And actually, I kind of had a problem with that because my parents had just come back from a two-year job at Saudi Arabia, and them just coming back, they didn't have jobs to, like, return to, so... It was a little awkward when they were asking for financial proof that I could, you know, sustain myself in a foreign country and we couldn't really prove that my parents had jobs, so that was a little interesting. Thankfully though, we got past that and they were able to understand that, um, oh, your parents were abroad two years and just came back. Okay, you'll be fine. You know, we, we showed them a bank statement, showed them how much money we had beforehand and that it was going to be totally okay. My university is a little strange too. Most Japanese universities are about one to three months, like, behind, I don't want to say behind, but like behind American universities. So American universities tend to start August. My university actually starts in October. So I had to be in Japan mid to late September. August, September, October, November. Yeah, that was one of the interesting things. Uh, credits. Credits in Japan, I, I assume it depends on where you go, but at my university, all the classes you take are like way less credits. Normally, it's three to four credits in the United States, at least at my university. The credits here are one to two, and I'm just like, what? Huh? And I didn't realize this at the time, but it's because Japanese universities are way easier, totes easier, compared to American universities. When I say easier, I mean I only take, I take seven classes, but they only meet once a week. Once a week. So don't fear anything about Jap going to a Japanese university studying abroad as an international student. You have absolutely nothing to fear. The, the course load is so easy. I'm actually going to show you my first assignment, my very first assignment that I had to do, and it was super easy. This is my first assignment. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's, it's like, you know, in, in American paper we have lines. You just write on the lines. Well, these are blocks, and you write one character per block. So the assignment really was to just do halfway, write about your feeling. The, the sensei speak really easy Japanese and slow enough for you to understand, at least at my university. But I assume they do that, you know, at every other um, international study abroad university as well. My sensei asked me, or asked the class, to use this block of paper to write a short um, summary of your feelings upon first coming to Japan. And I actually went half, I went over half. So I went a little bit over the requirement because I had a lot to say and I could express all of that. One fair warning if you're worried about your Japanese language ability, I would say the best determinant for you if you're willing to study abroad at a intermediate to advanced university, like my university, you should at least have JLPT N3 down or almost down. I have it almost down. <laughs> I took a mock JLPT and I was sick that day so I wasn't really in testing mode and I, I bombed it, but like <laughs> I'm going to take a JLPT N3 course here. It's zero credits, but it's online and it, sh it prepares me for the JLPT N3, so I'm planning on taking that. But yeah, that should be the base. If you, if you can, if you totally passed N3, if you've passed N2 or, or even N1, you are so fine, you are great for at least Shimane University. I know um, the really popular one in Japan is Kansai Gaidai University over in the Kansai region. That one is a lot easier. You don't even, I know at my university, the requirements for my university to go to Kansai Gaidai were 
intermediate Japanese. You had to finish intermediate Japanese too, and then you could go to Kansai Gaidai. So it's a relatively low requirement for some universities like Kansai Gaidai. Those are very, very international. You have lots of international students there, and a lot of people speak English, and I assume a lot of the material provided to you is also in English. Um, I'm not sure you can learn Japanese very well that way, since you're not totally immersed, but, you know, a lot of my friends who've gone said it's still a fantastic experience. Other universities that partner with my home university in Florida include Aoyama Daigakuin and uh, mine, Shimane Daigaku, Shimane University. Um, these require advanced Japanese to have been completed by the student before they go. So I completed advanced Japanese over at University of Florida and my I wanted to go to Tokyo to Aoyama Daigakuin, but I couldn't because my GPA wasn't high enough, but oh well, it's what I get for starting in engineering. Anyways, I came to Shimane Daigaku and I don't regret it at all. There is absolutely no English, barely anywhere. Everything is in Japanese and I'm already feeling myself really starting to understand people a lot more. I can actually hold conversations with natives and I'm so happy and it's like, ah, this is a wonderful, fantastic feeling and feel the Japanese learning language, the language learning just soothing, soothing? Going throughout my veins, like, it's a really nice feeling. But if you have any worries about studying at a Japanese university, just make sure that you've taken classes and you can, uh, depending on where you go, you can pass the necessary, you know, requirements. If you're on the edge, for example, me. I'm on the edge with JLPT and 3. I don't really think I could pass it superbly, but I could probably get there. Now, the requirement for my university was pass N3. Er, they still let me come, and I, you know, I can still take all the classes. The senseis, again, use really simple Japanese. They slow down, they write a lot on the board so that they make sure you understand. The activities are really simple, stuff like that. So I hope this answered some of your questions, maybe calmed some of your fears about studying abroad to a Japanese university. If you have any questions for me, feel free to comment below, like and subscribe, of course. Um, if you want to contact me directly, Twitter, that's honestly the best, the best place to ask questions. All right, peace guys.